Hello. Um, uh, this video is going to be a very, very short one, just a quick and dirty way to do uh, source parameter imaging, that is SPI. And um, if you have your gridded um, TMI data, uh, that's all you need to start. You can just uh, quickly go to uh, this GX here and you need to add a menu. So let's just go to load the menu and let's go to SPI, click on S here. You'll see SPI here and click open. Now we now see the SPI here. So it will tell you because SCI actually need three derivative uh, grids. That is the DX as the horizontal derivative in the X direction, horizontal derivative in the Y direction, and the vertical or uh, vertical uh, derivative, that is the Z. So uh, what you need to do is just to calculate this DX and DY and the Z. If you have calculated it before, all you need to do is to go to calculate SPI grid where you have to now impute the DX uh, grids and dy and the dz but now we have not done it so spi allows us to quickly do that so it will calculate the x and the zy here so we'll go to which file that we need we need this uh we'll call tmi grid and what is the output the output we need for this is the x and uh, we need um dy for this so we click on ok and it has calculated it and the next thing we are going to do is to uh, calculate the z and uh, what is the name of the input original file? This is it. And what is the output vertical derivative? This is the first vertical derivative anyway that is calculated. If you want to calculate uh, any other derivatives or higher order derivatives, you can use the magma function, but that is not the essence of this particular uh, short tutorial. So you click on this, it has calculated it. All you need to do is to go to this place and you add these grids. We now have this dx, dy, dz and we open so these are all the calculated um, uh, 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 the derivative uh, maps so if we tap vertically we'll see all four right here so the next thing is to do to, is to calculate the spi so go to calculate spi so what is the input the x you just drop this arrow down here you see the dx drop arrow for dy drop arrow for the z and then um, what is the because in calculating the source parameter imaging, you have to calculate, uh, it gives you an output for the tilt uh, derivative. And this, like all these explanations will not be done right now because that is not the essence of this particular uh, tutorial. So we, we name this one as tilt and uh, the output k grid, let us just name it as k grid. And um, level of peak detection, we want it in all four directions now. And the depth cutoff level, we can just leave this one as blank. We want it in a new database and uh, the line to save the refinery. Let's just leave all that as the default and calculate. So now what is the uh, database that we need to give to this? Let's call it SPI and you click on OK. And that calculates it and we see our data right here. So this is uh, all that we have. It's D10 and you have the X, you have the Y and uh, this is the longitude latitude this is spi value and these are the peak levels here we have the uh, uh, different uh, peak levels because we need it in all four directions and that's what we're having for here so the next thing for you to do is just to grid this spi values so you just go to create minimum curvature for example if that's what you need and we need to grid uh, the spi value here what name do we give it they just give it spi and the grid cell side remember um uh, the flight line spacing is 500 meters so a quarter of that is 125 so that's the grid cell size and of course the tmi was gridded with this particular grid cell size so you just click on okay and voila you have your spi so you can go to utilities point values here this is it go to point values all you need is just this spi grid here and if we click on any of this place we'll now see uh, the depths this is 650 meters and you go to another place you click here this is 1285 meters but then once you do the uh, legend you can now see the range of uh, the different uh, values here so where you have this very low values here you can see this particular place is 82 meters so if depending on the type of whatever you want to do it will give you an idea of what you should do I mean, that ends this.